everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting Aritzia and Club Monaco haul to share for you guys. Alright, it's no secret that I love Aritzia clothing since I wear Aritzia in almost all of my videos. I believe you don't need to spend a lot of money to look good. Having said that, I know that these two brands are not exactly cheap either, but they're good value for money. Can you get beautiful clothing from H&M or Zara? Of course! However, I don't know how well it's going to hold up over time and after wash. And plus, Zara's not even that cheap these days. A dress can cost $100. So I find that these two brands, which are my favorite, make the best quality clothing for a reasonable mid-tiered price. Alright, enough chit-chatting. Let's get to the haul and I'll show you guys what I picked up. So the first two items that I picked up, I'm actually wearing. So this is the Carter blouse and this is the satin slip skirt. I absolutely love all drapey blouses and this one is no exception. Aritzia makes fantastic blouses that look a lot more expensive than they actually are just because it, it drapes so beautifully, it's not see-through and it just feels very substantial. The Carter blouse also comes in other colors as well. There's the white version which I love. However, I have like three cow neck blouses and I have a billion other white blouses so I'm banned from buying any more white blouses. The only thing to note with this blouse is that on this side, it's a little bit of a larger opening which can show your bra, something to note. And it also kind of reminds me of a muscle tank for some reason. And as for this satin skirt, you really don't need to spend any more than the Aritzia satin skirt. Like for example, the designer skirts. I think they look exactly the same and why bother when the quality is just as nice and it looks the same. The second item I picked up are these pair of effortless pants in the caramelized walnut color. So this is a very drapey wide leg pants that with heels will make your legs look super long. However, I can't decide on the color. I'm not sure, but is it giving you Sherlock Holmes vibes? I pre-ordered this pants in the soft camel color as well. However, it won't ship out until November, so I wanted to get a pair to try on for size. And the sizing fits great, it looks great. I'm very mixed on the color. Let me know in the comment section below if you think I should return or keep this pair of pants. So in this outfit, the blouse is from Evernew, although it's very similar to the white Carter blouse. I'm 5'4 and wearing 3.5 inch Chanel heels under these pants. There's also a crop version of the effortless pants if you're more petite. This is the full length ones. Their Mez Kelly belt works really well with these pants since it's a different shade of brown which provides a subtle contrast. I also threw on my Max Mara Connie jacket since it's in the same color family as well. Ta-da! Now my Sherlock Holmes look is complete. In terms of the length of these trousers, the ideal length for wide leg trousers should be about a quarter to a half inch off the ground. So only a peak of your toes should be showing. So I think this is the right length for me. However, I'm not used to this kind of length that I kind of feel like I'm mopping the floors. The next item is this Tuscany sweater. So I absolutely love this design and this neckline as well. It's almost like a cheaper dupe of the designer Kate Maddie sweater. However, the white is very thin and the fabric is very unforgiving as well. Here is the sweater on me. Hello, tummy rolls. Maybe I ordered a size too small? You can see the fabric is also pretty see-through as you can see the outlines of my bra. You may need to go braless for this sweater. I feel like this would look nice on someone who has a larger chest, which I do not have, or a flat tummy, which is something that I don't have either. I am sucking in my stomach as we speak, and I have no confidence in this top in holding down any food baby, so I think this is gonna have to be returned. Okay, so lastly, we have this pair of tie front pants in the color navy. So I think I own way too many Aritzia pants and I own way too many navy pants as well because I just feel like navy looks a lot better than black and it looks put together but not too formal. Um, I usually wear these tie front pants without the belt because I feel like the belt gives a little bit too much bulk in the midsection area. I'll show you what I mean in the mod shots. Alright, this is the pants on me. They are pretty cropped, especially compared to the previous effortless pants. With the tie, you can see how it sticks out awkwardly from the side. When I remove the belt, it's a little more flat in the tummy area. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Club Monaco portion of our haul. So the first item that I picked up 
is this beautiful white dress. I love me a little white dress and I own way too many of them. This dress, when I first saw it, I just really fell in love with it. It just looks very simple and elegant and I like the fabric as well. One thing to note about this dress that I was a little torn about is this belt. So I'm not sure if you can see here, but this belt loop, the threading is not the best. I had to look through so many of these dresses to find one that was acceptable because if you see here with the belt loop, if you actually pull on that thread, the entire threading of the loop is going to unravel. So I had to really find one that didn't have that issue. But aside from that, the quality is very nice. It's not see-through and it's a nice drapey fabric as well. Here's the dress on. The length is definitely modest on me since I'm shorter than the typical Club Monaco models. I either buy their petite size or sometimes I may have to hem. Club Monaco is currently having an extra 25% off for Labor Day with the code by summer. I'm thinking of hemming this dress an inch or so so that the proportions are more petite friendly. The second item that I picked up from Club Monaco is this maxi length black silk dress. So this silk is actually machine washable, which is always a pleasant surprise. I tend to buy fabrics that are more forgiving and less fragile since I tend to hand wash all of my more expensive clothing. So I'm probably not going to throw this dress into the laundry, but it's always nice to know that I can handle a little agitation, a little bit of a cycle. Um, my favorite part about this dress as well is the side slip. So there's one on both sides and this dress just looks very elegant and especially if you like the color black, I think you'll love this dress. Okay, so you can see the two side slits here and this dress is a full maxi on me and it ends right where my ankles end. With this dress, I actually prefer to tie the belt tie at the back so the front looks more sleek and the belt cinches the waist. I also like to throw on another belt sometimes to add more interest. Here is the close-up of the silk so you can see the sheen and texture. 